Richardson, and today I am reading Radiant Child, the story of young artist Jean-Michel Basquiat by Javaka Steptoe uh, for PS Arts. I chose this book because, one, I didn't even know that there were children's books uh, about children creating art. I think that's pretty cool. Two, it's a children's book about Jean-Michel Basquiat, a cultural phenomenon that the world has never, had never seen before he arrived and will never see again, but his art um, still impacts everything, everything, um, including me. Um, also, Javaka Steptoe and who's the author and illustrator of this amazing story that's won a couple of awards, and Jean-Michel the Black. And I think it's important for, um, you know, people to see themselves in the stories and the art that they read. Had I read this when I was a child, I probably would have decided to become an artist sooner than uh, I did. So, let's get to it. I'm excited. Oh, and I got the dog in here too. So, if he's making noise, if he comes and says hello, don't even drink. Don't even drink. Look at this. It's pretty cool. All right. And don't even worry about any mispronunciations. That's just how I talk and it's a gift. To you so <laughs> somewhere in Brooklyn between hearts that thump double dutch and hopscotch and salty mouths that slurp sweet ice a little boy dreams of becoming a famous artist in his house you can tell a serious artist dwells as he sits at the table with pencils scattered everywhere Jean-Michel draws from morning until night with a serious face amid a storm of papers. I get messy too. He refuses to sleep until he has created a masterpiece. At night, images enchant Jean-Michel's mind and he wakes from his dreams to add one more line. His drawings are not neat or clean, nor does he color inside the lines. They are sloppy. Ugly and sometimes weird, but somehow still beautiful. I wish I could draw. I can't. His art comes from his mother, Matilde, a Puerto Rican woman who designs and sews and cooks and cleans and makes the house look like a stylish magazine. But most important, she lies on the floor and draws with Jean-Michel on his father's old work papers. It's resourceful. Here they are. Drawn on old work papers. Recycle, kids. From her, he learns that art is not only in the poetry books she reads to him or in the theaters and museums they visit. Art is the street games of little children in our style and the words that we speak. It is how the messy patchwork of the city creates new meaning for ordinary things. While visiting the museum, they look at his favorite works of art. Reading the story behind each artist, reading the story behind each work, this is how Jean-Michel learns what it means to be a famous artist. I think that would have scared me. If I was a child and went to the museum and saw that, I'd be, I'd be terrified, but inspired. So back at home, he creates art on the floor. As his father, Gerard, plays jazz records, Mama Matilde cooks arroz con pollo, it's chicken with rice, and calls Jean-Michel, mi amor, my love. The energy and life of the city can be felt in each line of his drawings. I love these drawings, by the way, Mr. Steptoe, who was inspired by Jean-Michel uh, to create these illustrations, by the way. So as time goes by, Jean-Michel learns that art has a healing power. After a car accident, he is scared and confused. Matilde 
gives him a book to calm his fears. It is filled with pictures of bones, skulls, and other body parts. Jean-Michel draws from it until he knows it all by heart. He is no longer afraid. No longer afraid. What a mother. Beautiful. Back at home, Jean-Michel's body heals, but his heart breaks. His mother's mind is not well, and the family breaks. She no longer lies on the floor and draws with Jean-Michel, but sits by the window, singing only to birds. Jean-Michel is confused and filled with a terrible blues when Mathilde can no longer live at home. Sad. Here he goes. He tries drawing the terrible out of his blues, but things are not the same. As Jean-Michel grows older, he visits his mother when he can, always bringing his artwork to show, telling her that one day it will be in a museum. When I am a famous artist. I don't know if he said it like that. I doubt he said it like that, but you know, I'm just trying to give y'all some, some flavor. As a teenager now, Jean-Michel decides, Papa, I will be very, very famous one day with a sly look and a twinkle in his eye. Jean-Michel leaves Brooklyn for New York City, the Lower East Side, a concrete jungle where only the tough survive. It's a nice car. Looks pretty fast. Zoom, zoom. During the day, dressed in a green jumpsuit splattered with paint, Jean-Michel stays with friends, sleeping on couches and floors, leaving a barrage of collages and poem-filled papers everywhere he goes. I've done that. I've slept on friends' couches before and floors. <laughs> At night, Jean-Michel spray paints the walls downtown with poems and drawings that catch the eye of artists gallery goers and passerbys. Under his art, he signs the name Samo, copyright, instead of Jean-Michel. Everybody wants to know, who is Samo? Samo, Samo. That's what old people say. Same old, same old. Same old, same old. Samo moves from street corners to art gallery walls with powerful color composition and line collaging and painting on anything he can find. His art is still not neat or clean, and definitely not inside the lines, but somehow still beautiful. Because he's Jean-Michel. <laughs> That's why it's still beautiful. With his magical charm, Jean-Michel draws a crowd, but when it's time to work, he prefers to be alone with the radio and TV on full blast. Now in expensive suits splattered with paint, he flips through stacks of magazines and open books and paints into the night and sometimes for days at a time while sounds and images jump into his head. All these sounds and images jumping into his head, putting it down on paper and canvas. Incredible. Jean-Michel, an artist among artists, never doubts one line creating from a soundtrack that is all his own. People describe him as radiant, wild, a genius child, but in his heart, he is king, so he draws crowns for himself and others he admires. Love it. Love it. Incredible. A grown man now, with the art world in his hands, Jean-Michel still visits his mother when he can. It's a good son. And at his most important shows, above all the critics, fans, and artists he admires, the place of honor is his mother's, a queen on the throne. He is now a famous artist. Beautiful. That's the end. Uh, thank you for listening, if you're still there. Hope you enjoyed it. 
Uh, you know, it's a beautiful, beautiful story. And not only is Jean-Michel Basquiat a king, a famous artist, but he made an impact uh, and left a legacy that is still impacting us today and will last forever. So thank you, um, Javaka Steptoe, and thank you, Jean-Michel Basquiat. Salute.